Hey, what's happening everybody? It's Royce and Pedal Mel. Welcome to my channel. Tonight's video is going to be checking out two different RWB 930 Porsche Stella Artois. Uh, one is the Hot Wheels 164 scale, which comes with the little figure of Nakai. And the other is a 143rd scale resin tarmac works. So this should be pretty cool. Let's get right into unboxing them. We'll unbox the Hot Wheels first. I know this is kind of late reviewing this one, but it took me a while to get a hold of this one at a reasonable price uh, to be able to review it. I'm not sure how many of these they made for the RLC club. Uh, I'm not sure if there's any numbers here on the box. I don't think there is. I'm thinking it's like 12, 12 or 15,000 maybe that they made. I'm not really sure though. Nikai's own Porsche 930 and 164 scale finished in Spectra Flame Black. Features fully opening doors, engine compartment painted gold spokes. Graphics minifig on of the man himself. So like I said, there's no numbering on these, so I don't think they're as rare as what some people think they are. Uh, this one... Okay, this one's already pre-slit. Normally it would have tissue paper wrapped around it as well. That's uh, somewhere, I don't know where. Nicely packaged, if I get my hand out of the way. Figure could be a lot better. Um, I think the Magnus Walker figure actually had a little bit more detail on that one opposed to this but we will try to separate this case i don't know how hard this is going to be oh here is a number eleven thousand eight ninety out of twelve thousand so they did make it was supposed to be twelve thousand of these sets done okay that wasn't as bad as i thought it was going to be to get the i didn't want to break the tabs weird how there's a circular pattern and you can really see it there in that lighting I'm not sure what that it's almost like an oil slick there it's weird I don't know if that's just from the tires or I don't know what that's from it's strange uh, the figure is glued to they're kind of like uh, heat pressed down into the base so you'd have to break that off or well cut these tabs to get him off let me dismount this from the base i'll be right back all right now we have it up on the turntable we can get a pretty good look here at this um looks pretty cool from what i can see now uh, the wheels are not accurate obviously uh to the real car now he had two different sets of wheels over uh i believe currently there's ssr professors 18 inch wheels on the real stella and i think originally which is on the 143rd scale car here originally it had work meister s1 mesh wheels i believe also an 18 inch um, but hot wheels kind of went with this new six spoke which is not bad and looks pretty good in this Dirty gold color. And as I had stated earlier, this is uh, Spectra Flame Black, and it's kind of odd when I was holding it up in certain lighting. It almost had like a he some purple or dark blue, like a midnight blue. There, it kind of even on the screen, you kind of see it looks almost like midnight blue. So it just depends on the lighting, I think. Really cool. And here I'll compare it next to the car culture standard uh, if you want to call it that the premium version which is in the correct matte black like the real car was or is and I think when I was looking this car up the other day I believe it's actually for sale it looked like it was in a Tokyo dealership and I believe it's I assume the price would be pretty high on it, considering I think it would be the first RWB car technically it was ever done. 
Um, to give a little background on the car, it's a 1985 Porsche 930. Originally, he had the Kai went back to having it normally aspirated, and it was a 3.8 liter uh, with carbs, PMO carbs on it, producing like 360 horsepower. And the car only weighs like 2,100 pounds. So the 360 horsepower would be really, really great in 2,100 pounds. So I think the matte, I actually like the matte black better, but that's just because it's, you know, more accurate. And of course, Mattel doesn't have uh, the name, they didn't have the name Stella Artois on the side, uh, that, who is a beer manufacturer out of Belgium. They don't have that on the side of the car like the, the real one would have been, obviously with, you know, children buying this and, and I guess getting the licensing rights. I'm looking down straight at it now and I can see, you might be able to see it in that shot. The rear wing is actually different on, a lot nicer, more detailed on the RLC version, as well as the front splitter is, is more detailed. And of course the tow hook is painted in red there on the RLC. Both have hood pins. I, I actually like the smaller badging on the car culture one opposed to the RLC. I think it's a little more accurate to scale with the Porsche crest on the front. It looks like the window molds actually might be, well, maybe not. They almost look a little different to me. They are different. Okay. Wow. So the car culture rear, rear window is smooth and as opposed to the RLC has which is correct to the real car, has two aluminum struts running down the side. The side windows look the same. And the rivet details actually pop out a little more, I think, on the standard, on the standard model opposed to the RLC. But um, the cool thing here, if you look here, the nice thing, you can open this up, you can see the the carbs in the back of the RLC, you can't do that with the standard. Uh, I think the tail lighting actually looks better on the, I'll have to review this on the video then on the screen, but in person, I think the RLC, I don't know, I think the standard looks just as good, if not better, the the, uh, the rear lamps. Uh, this has his own creation of the, of the three. You might be able to see it there. It's going to show up in gold, but it's three exhaust pipes. And uh, currently the car does not have that. It has like a wild cookie cutter, sharp edged uh, dual pipe system, which is kind of shown sort of on the 143rd, which I'll show here next. Let's open up the doors of the RLC here. Um, of course, both have metal bases. If you're unfamiliar with the car culture and the premium series Hot Wheels, um, they're all over metal with rubber tires. All right, for whatever reason, that was tough getting the driver's side door open. I could not get that open. Eventually did get it open. I shouldn't say I didn't get it open. I got it open. It just took a while. Pretty cool though to see that with the opening parts. Like I said, these still go for a good bit of money. Uh, just if you want one though, and you don't have one currently, keep an eye out for auctions on eBay. I think they're slowly kind of coming down to a little, more, a little bit more reasonable prices. We'll try to get a shot of the interior. I'm not sure how detailed that is. Probably not very. It actually does have gauge, white gauge faces. You can see it right there. There's the base. And this is like a hard plastic, the rear exhaust. RWB cars are definitely not for everybody. They are a love-hate kind of deal, I believe, for most people. You either like them or you don't. I like his philosophy. Some of the cars are a little over the top for me personally, but um, they are originally, they were not really meant so much for rich people as they are kind of now. 
they're more of a status symbol but originally they were meant for his him and all his buddies or whatever whoever was able to ante up the money to get together their you know cars and prep, you know prep them for track days which is their idlers meet group which they usually have the idlers logo on the tires which i'll show that on the 143rd here shortly very cool though so that is the rlc spectra flame black up against the car culture very cool to see the two together uh completes my collection there so i was very stoked to be able to get this and like i said the guy who had a list on ebay he had it for like 10 or 15 bucks less than everybody else so i pretty much jumped on it but looking at it next to the car culture one that comes with the team transport it's i think the matte black one is really really nice and i don't think i reviewed that before and now it's the first time i'm reviewing it but i think it's really well done uh appears to be the same mold the outer body and everything looks the same except for obviously has opening parts on the uh, rlc version very cool all right let me bring in the 143rd scale uh this i forget how many they made of this i'm not sure but the the base of it says uh let's get this out of the way it doesn't say anywhere but the card that was in the box says 1027 is the number of this one i thought i read somewhere it was 2099 999 i don't know doesn't matter at this point i don't really trust those i've always said that in the past i don't really i don't fully trust uh what they say on the amounts it almost feels like it's metal but i don't think it is i think this one is resin pretty sure this does have polished photo etched metal latches as you can kind of see there on the hood and the rear deck i didn't pay a whole lot for this one it took quite a while for it to to show up though i don't have a huge 143rd scale collection um but i if I find something I really like and it's the price is right on it, I I will buy 143rd. Now this does not have opening parts. Um, now this does have the dual exhaust on the back, but it's different, a di little bit different setup than what's currently on the car, at least from the video I found on youtube which i probably could link down below where i i sounds to me like he might be trying to sell it it was i i can't speak japanese but i believe it was for some exotic car dealership there in tokyo and it seemed to me like it was an ad like they were showing you around the car and then it basically the end says for more information i guess on the price perhaps um from what i i always saw he basically said he would never part with his car so that kind of Surprise me a little bit if it's for sale. So there we have the Idlers Club Meet uh, logo on the tires. That's their like racing club, I guess, there in Japan. We got the Stella Artois beer logo on the side. I better assume the license plate is correct. That looks very detailed. Very cool. So I don't know what you guys do you like the the original SSR wheels that he had on the car before or do you like the mesh wheels that's shown like on the 143rd scale? So there's the quite a difference there from the 164 to 143rd. Detailing on that tarmac works is really 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 nice. Like the front Porsche crest looks really good. I don't see any kind of tow hook though on the front. I'm not sure if there is one on the front. All the little rivets are 
printed on somehow on this model which looks really great on the fender flares and there's the two braces on the back window which is kind of surprising Hot Wheels actually has that represented on the RLC version wipers look good on this too I think for what I paid for this um, which is basically half of what I paid for the RLC this thing is really nice I don't know if the, the real one has that Mark Jacobs logo on the front I always thought it had the uh, second wind or whatever the evolution statement thing on the front The rear reflector looks great on this. Uh, even the way they printed the RWB there, it's supposed to kind of look like screen or like mesh there. It looks pretty cool. Oh, there's another another logo up underneath the wing there. It says Advantage. As Chester's freaking out at something. So there you go. Let's put that back on there. So there you go. That's two different versions. 164 scale Hot Wheels of the RWB 930 Stella car and tarmac works 143rd scale version i thought it'd be kind of cool to just go ahead and review these all together and then i uh, dug out the car culture one as well just as uh and i'm kind of glad i did because it's pretty cool to see that next to the rlc do you guys have to let me know down below are you a fan of the rwb cars you think they're just too ridiculous or are you do you do you think it's pretty cool like the combination of Japanese tuning mixed with the German engineering? So there you go. If you like this type of video, be sure to give me a like, thumbs up, all that stuff. Uh, if you're not a subscriber, please consider it's free and can be free. And hit the bell for notifications. I will be having a huge giveaway here, probably three different goodies three different lots of goodies for three different winners uh coming up soon hopefully to celebrate 10,000 subscribers and so keep watching and be aware of that video preview of what i'm all going to be giving away um so thanks for watching until next time i'll see you guys later have a good night talk to you soon Bye now.